First on Fox, a frantic scene today with three people in sudden medical distress all at the same time. Yeah, and it happened at the St. Louis Justice Center where Fox Files investigator Chris Hayes is getting answers. Usually very quiet here. People who walk by this portion of the city jail are used to seeing a transport van come and go, but nothing like what happened this morning. You can see the urgency from first responders and hear it through their shouts. Three people down, three inmates from the St. Louis City Justice Center with medical emergencies. The city says it's investigating what's suspected to be drug overdoses, and they're now searching an area the three detainees shared. Visitations have been suspended since March, which leaves fewer ways for drugs to get in. I don't, I don't understand how they're getting in. I can't get in to visit. No one can get in to visit, only the lawyers. 33-year-old Kevin Cavins died November 8th after just three days in custody here. A police report shows Cavins, who was in detox, said he vomited in the bathroom. A correctional officer provided Cavins with cleaning supplies to clean the bathroom. One hour later, a lieutenant noticed Cavins was not breathing and announced a code three. They probably wanted treatment. Look behind drug recovery specialist Chad Sabora. The fire department pulled up at the jail for yet another drug-related call. Uh, people get very tricky with the mail system. Um, when there's a will, there's a way. We are not going to ever stop the flow of drugs into the jail or prison system. It's never, it's not an option. Um, our options are to get these individuals treatment sooner. Sabora co-founded this Maryland Heights Urgent Center for mental health help called Sana Lake, hoping to reach more people. There's a lot of people are under the impression that if you are physically dependent on a substance like opioids, fentanyl or heroin, that you have to go to an inpatient detox hospital. You don't. Um, the same exact medications that they give you at the hospitals, you can actually get from an outpatient center. Uh, you can take them home. That can happen within 24 hours, he said, even with the restraints of COVID. The three inmates are now being guarded at hospitals while the city awaits results of drug tests. We want to show you the help that's out there if you look for this report after opening the Fox 2 app. For the Fox Files, I'm Chris Hayes.